I'm here today to do a tag. I was tagged by Reading Mama 5 to do the bookish survey tag from A to Z. So each question or yes, each question will start with A and then go all the way down through Z. So let's get started. Letter A is an author that you've read the most books by. And for me, that's an easy, easy question by far. Uh, I've read Ted Decker's books and I've read, I think I've read all of his books. So we're talking about 45 plus, maybe more. I have at least 30 on the shelf behind me. So yes, Ted Decker, my favorite. And he is by far the, the author that I've read the most books by. Letter B is the best sequel ever. And for that, I'm going to say Harry Potter. I love the Harry Potter series. I enjoyed it so much. And then with the movies that came out so close to the book, I enjoyed the books and the movies, but the books were awesome. And I couldn't wait for each sequel to come out until the end, in which point I was really sad. But life goes on after Harry Potter. See what I am currently reading. I'm currently reading Illumine by Jay Kristoff. Illumine has over 500 pages and it's not a typical average read. It has a lot of mixed media, pages, emails, instant messages, stuff like that. And someone said that you have to read at least 200 pages to get into it. So I'm, I'm going for the 200 pages to see if I like it. Hopefully it's all the rave that's out there, so we'll see. Letter D is drink of choice while you're reading, which is another easy question for me because I love coffee. Uh, I drink it black, and so either coffee or if we're looking for something cold, I drink something called Good Girl Moonshine, which is basically a healthy drink of apple cider vinegar mixed with water and ginger and it's really good for you, fletches out your system. I drink it every day and lots of health benefits for apple cider vinegar. Letter E is e-reader or physical book, definitely physical book. I read some ARCs on my e-reader and I do that through NetGalley, um, but for, if I had to choose, it would definitely be a literal physical book. Letter F is your favorite fictional character that you would probably have dated in high school. And so I'm going to embarrass myself by saying that I love the Twilight series. Maybe if I didn't see Edward Cullen in the Twilight movies, I would have picked a different answer, but totally in love with Edward Cullen, the whole vampire thing. Yep. Yes. Okay. G, letter G is glad you gave this book a chance. And for that, I'm going to, I have it, but I'm not gonna go run and get it. Last month, I read my first graphic novel, which, woohoo, yay for me. I read Monster by Naoki Urasawa, and I loved it. It was so good, really great first uh, graphic novel. And so I'm gonna give more of them a chance soon, as soon as I can, because it was, Really awesome, and I enjoyed it, actually, very much. Letter H, gem, hidden book gem. And I don't have a copy of that for me, uh, I don't have a copy of that right now, but you will wanna read The Prodigy by Tosca Lee. I'm gonna go ahead and put the title in the comments below. She is one of my favorite authors, an amazing writer. And so this is a new series that she's um, starting. The Prodigy is the very first book and I'm not sure when the next one comes out, but you really need to give her a try. She is a hidden gem for sure. And this book is very good. So check that out. Letter I, important moment in your reading life. And that would have to be right now joining booktube just a little over a month now and I absolutely love being here. It's so much fun. Love watching everyone's videos. I'm very addicted to it all. I just get all warm fuzzies when I watch booktube. It's, it's awesome and I love it here. So 
Letter J, what I just finished, and I do have that book because I just finished it, is The Autumn Balloon by Kenny Papora. It is a memoir, and I picked this book up because he grew up on Long Island, and that's where I'm from. So I was very intrigued by the story of him and his family and the history of drug addiction with his family, and it was really good. I, I enjoyed the story. It was like reading fiction. It, it was very smooth. It was heartbreaking. It was funny. Really, really good book, The Autumn Balloon. I recommend this one. Letter K. Kinds of books you won't read. Again, easy for me. I'm not into romance. Cack. No, can't do romance. Ugh, I just can't. I'm sorry. I try. I'm reading one now. Reading before we were strangers right now, and there's lots of scenes in there where I'm like, oh, God, I have to get through this. I'm sure that it's just making the connection with the two characters, and by the end, I'll be sobbing my eyes out. But for the most part, I stay away from anything that's romance-related. No, it just does me in, and I don't like it. L, the longest book you've ever read. I don't really know. I would probably say one of Stephen King's books. He writes, you know, the mega chunk books, and I've read quite a few of his. I didn't stop to check which one's the longest, but I'm sure that one of his books is probably the longest I've read. I've also read Pillars of the Earth, which I uh, love that one too. So uh, that's by Ken Follett. Letter M. Oh, you have a major book hangover. And again, Twilight series, it was so hard to wait for those, and also the Hunger Games series. Um, for some reason, I just really got into that. And then, you know, found friends who was just into that as well, and we went to see the movies together after we read the books, which is interesting and fun. Um, letter N, number of bookcases you own. So I have this one behind me, which is mostly my fiction books. I have one in my dining room and that's mostly non-fiction. And then my boys, which I have two of, they both have bookshelves in their rooms. And I'm going to claim them because neither of them really like reading. I stock their bookshelves with books that I'm hoping they'll catch on, you know, and pick one up one day and be like, oh, mom, this is great. Thank you for getting, yeah, I'm dreaming, huh? But I could, I could always dream and, and hopefully one day they will love books like I do. I can only hope, right? Four bookcases. So letter O, one book you've read multiple times and I have that book here as well because I've read it multiple times and I'm probably not going to give it up anytime soon. And this is um, Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. She is a Christian author, and this book follows the story of Hosea in the Bible, and it's set in modern day and by far one of my favorites. I love this book. I could probably read it over and over and over. Um, it's just that good for me. So, Redeeming Love. And my preferred, for P, preferred place to read would be my recliner. If you've seen my recliner, you would know that. It's all worn out. It's dented in the places that I lean, and I have a shelf for my coffee, and it's just like this little getup for me. No one in my family sits there because that's my seat. That's my reading seat. I'm always reading in my recliner, so that's that. Uh, let's see, Q, a quote that inspires you. So I kind of went this morning to look at a few quotes, so I'm going to read one that probably would be one of my favorites. It says, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than the ones that you did do. That's by H. Jackson Brown from the book, the movie, P.S. I Love You, which I love both the book and the movie and the quote. I mean, life is now, live it, do what you have to do, get it out of your system. You only live once, right? YOLO? Our reading regret would be when I used to read books where if I didn't like the book, I would force myself to read to the very end. And I don't do that anymore. If I'm a hundred pages in, 
and I don't like the book sometimes less I will put it down and say nope I know that I can find something better and that's what I'm going to do um, life is too short like I said so a series you started and need to finish and that would be the Raven Cycle series I read the first book uh, the Raven Boys and loved it I didn't think I would but I did and so I do have the next book and I know I think there are two more after I'm not sure if the series is over but that is something that I definitely want to finish it, it it is on my list to finish so T three of your all-time favorite books and so I'm going to say Iscariot by Tosca Lee and number two would be When Heaven Weeps by Ted Decker this is in no particular order and number three Velvet Elvis by Rob Bell and I'll put those books down below so that you can see the titles. Uh, each of those books came at a certain time in my life and changed me in some way. And so they remain my favorite books to this day. So we are at you, Unapologetic Fangirl 4, again. Oh, Twilight series, I'm sorry. I'm 45 and I just have a thing for the Twilight series and I, I'm i not going to say sorry. Letter V, very excited for this release. And so, let's see, was it a month ago I read this Savage Song and there is going to be a conclusion to that and I'm very excited for that. It's the Monsters of Verity series and I didn't think I'd enjoy that one either and surprise surprise you just never know W worst bookish habit hmm well sometimes I read so much that I don't engage with my family as much as I should it's a habit of yesing and ignoring when I'm really reading and I really want to say you know go away I'm reading but I need to make more time for my family I don't want to waste that time either so I need to balance family and reading kind of thing work social life it all has to be a nice balance um, X X marks the spot so we're starting at the top left 27th book in would be The Harbinger by Jonathan Cain I already checked it out and I'll uh, write that book below so that you can see what that is Two more, we're at Why, Why, your latest book purchase, and that would be Ferris by Marissa Meyer, Meyer. And I've read the Lunar Chronicles series, loved, oh, I love them. You just never know, right? Scarlet, uh, Cinder, Cress, and Winter. And so I picked up Ferris because I like to continue with the side stories and see if they're good. If they're not good, I don't know, but I'm going to give it a try. And finally, Z. Z, snatch your book. A book that kept you up late. And um, the last book that kept me up late would be Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I enjoyed that book a whole lot. Um, that was on my TBR for this month, so I'll be giving a review of that pretty soon. And that's all. I did them all. So thank you reading mom of five. What I really want to know is how you are a mom of five and read so much. That's my question for you. But I'm going to tag a couple of newbies down below. Um, I'm a newbie and I'd like to pay it forward. So I'm going to be tagging Jay's Book Castle, Jay at Jay's Book Castle and Aaron at Waiting Moose. If you would like to do this lovely A to Z bookish tag, that would be awesome. And thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.